Hi, my name is Jamel Schufer. I am the CEO or Chief Events Officer for PRISM Events. And we're going to continue our conversation today about location and the pros and cons of different types of locations for your event. Everybody knows that um, you can have a, an event in a hotel, but um, today we're going to talk about conference centers. Conference centers are different than hotels in the way that they do not have sleeping rooms. That is one of the major differences between a hotel and a conference center. But conference centers do have various sizes of rooms or, you know, for your breakout sessions or your general session for your event. So in most cases, they're able to accommodate a lot of different types of events, which is definitely a pro. Another pro is in most cases, they are able to bundle a lot of the services that you may need for your event. So for instance, they will bundle your food and beverage and your AV and your room rental. If you are not having any food and beverage, then it may be AV and room rental. They usually have several different types of packages um, depending on the size of your event, but they have several different types of packages that you can choose from that allow you to say, yep, that's what I want. And they will bundle it up in one nice, neat package, put a bow on it, you have your price, and that's that. It's a lot easier to deal with when you're talking about your budget and knowing exactly how much your event is going to cost, which is very important. So pros, they have uh, various meeting room sizes, and in most cases, they do have packages that you can choose from to bundle everything. Another pro for a conference center is they also will have one person that you have to deal with for your event. And if this is going to be your first event that you are planning, uh, it is, I, I can't tell you how uh, great it is to just have one person that you have to deal with to talk about your room settings, to talk about what type of food you want, uh, what your price point is, to talk about how many microphones, and what, how, what, what size the stage should be. Um, all those little different details, you just have one person that you go to and that's it. That is a very good thing for, uh, for people that uh, don't have the bandwidth to be able to deal with lots of different types of vendors for this, that, and the, and the third. So that's a very good pro in my opinion. Uh, a con for conference centers is um, they may not have the scalability, the flexibility within, um, within the center if your event goes above and beyond your expectations. So if you have more people coming than you thought and you've already rented this particular size room and room type, then you may not be able to scale up because conference centers usually rent certain rooms and they are usually hard walled rooms. So with a hotel, um, ballrooms within a hotel or even some breakout rooms within a hotel have air walls. So if you need to make the room larger, they can um, bring back the air wall and expand the space. Uh, with conference centers, a lot of times their, um, their rooms are hard walls, so you can't do anything with that room. You can't, you can't increase the size at all. You would have to go up or bump up to a larger room. And um, depending on how many people you have that are coming, then you may get into a, a more sticky situation. And of course, your budget may increase, whereas at a hotel, um, if you have, they usually deal in food and beverage minimums. So if you know that you're going to meet that food and beverage minimum, they may have no problem with expanding your room. So those are just some things to think about uh, for conference centers. Um, and just so that you know, you know, different types of venues, they have 
different types of pros and cons for each. So, uh, you know, research it, see if a conference center may be good for you, may be a good fit for you and your event. And I will talk to you soon about the next type of venue. Have a great day. Bye.